Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another flight in GOFS. So, my friends, let's get cracking. So, my friends, I have been having a ton of fun with GOFS. The other day, I just went in for a fun flight, and I noticed that you can get a free trial of the HD images. So, I hit the button, and I get a whole day of it. Let's take a flight. I'll show you a couple features, and we'll see just how cool it looks. All right, friends, so this is HD. Uh, I'm going to hit the letter N so I can see where I'm at. When you hit this, it goes to navigation mode, and you can see that I am near Holland, Michigan, which is cool because that's where I actually live, and I'm actually flying around and checking it out. And then if you look up there, I'm going to pause. That way I can move the mouse up here without affecting the flight. That is another pilot. I don't know who this one is, but I have signed in and I've enabled multiplayer and I can actually fly with other people. I've used this in my classroom and we can create a private server with the school's version. You can also just fly right now. You can see there are 160 pilots out here with me. A few real quick things for my classroom. Today, I want you all in the Piper Cub. Remember you pause your screen obviously and then you can switch by using the aircraft button and picking either the red or the yellow I don't care which now we're using this because it has an excellent view of the ailerons and the elevators and the rudder I want to make sure we understand the characteristics of flight so that's what we're going to use this for so right now I'm going to hit P to unpause it and I'm going to get control and actually you can see I just smacked into the ground Life goes on, we could just hit R to reset the flight. I'm gonna actually pause, press N, I'm gonna right click on Holland, and then I wanna start at 3,000 feet. When I click that, it puts me up in the air, I'm floating peacefully. When I hit P, it brings it back, and then I can get control of my plane. Notice I've got my mouse a little bit below, and that keeps me on an even plane. Now I'm gonna pause one more time because I just wanna run through the horizon line. So I'm going to hit P. That way I can show you here, this is my horizon line. If this brown line is flat, you're flying straight and level. If you've got the inner circle below, you're going to be climbing. If you've got the inner circle above, you're going to be diving. It also rotates so you can show if you're in a bank or if you're flying straight and level. Over here is my airspeed of 80 knots. This is my altitude. Now your altitude is... Remember, we started at 3,000 feet. I am right now at 2,400 and about 60. So always just like a clock, the fatter line is your thousands. The other line is your hundreds. This is my compass. I'm headed north. There is Lake Michigan. I would be headed towards Grand Haven. And then over here, this is an important one. My throttle is at zero. When I hit play, I'm going to put that back on. And this is my vertical speed. This is how much I'm climbing or descending. If you're at zero, you're not descending at all. You're straight and level. Right now I'm dropping at about 70 feet per minute. So I'm gonna hit play and I'm gonna get it back to climbing. Notice if I pull down, see that coming back up showing how many feet per minute I would be climbing or dipping. Once again, I'm gonna hit the number nine. There you can see my throttle coming up. So now I'll be able to maintain my speed better, and we are flying. Now, friends, I wanted you to see the rudder and the ailerons. So watch this. I'm going to move to the right, and you'll actually see that rudder bank. Now, if you can't see it, zoom in. So I'm rolling the scroll wheel forward, and there you can see the rudder actually bending. That is affecting the yaw of our aircraft. Now, if you look out here at the end, I'm going to pause, and I want you to watch this and this. These are the ailerons. When I move left or right, when the plane is moving, they will adjust accordingly just a small bit, and that's what allows the plane to rotate around the longitudinal axis. This is where we do our roll, which is how we control an aircraft. So here we are going straight and level again. And now watch this, when I bend, one goes down, the other goes up. The further out, the more it goes. If I bring it back, I can bring it to the other side. You can see those ailerons, and I'll put arrows in the video afterwards showing them too. 
So now I'm going to dive at the ground real quick and watch the elevators in the back. See that elevator move down and up? Those, <laughs> now I'm making it move like a dolphin, which is silly, but I wanted to accentuate what they look like. And you also get to see how they work in concert. That's a good way to see them actually move. Now here's another interesting thing. If you press C, we can get in the airplane. And once again, we can roll forward and roll back. Here are my controls and look up above. You can actually see the wire, watch this. You can see that moving, which adjusts the two ailerons uh, at the same time. So they are connected when they move. As we zoom in on this cockpit, you can also see those same controls that we were doing a moment ago. We've got the pitch and roll shown in the middle. When that little ball is in the center, then we're flying straight and level. And then also if we zoom in close, you can read that we're a little over 80 knots. You can also check that altitude at 2600. And you can also see how much fuel, your oil temp, and the RPMs. When you press C again, you get another view. This puts your controls at the bottom so you can see more of what you're checking out. If you hit it again, this is a chase plane and it just leaves you. If you tap that one more time and then one more time, it puts you back in the back. And even this one, you can zoom in so you can see everything a little bit closer. Or you can zoom out and check out the view. If you look out here in front of us, we are coming up on a town. If you look over at your map, I'm going to hit P to pause. This is our airplane, and you can see we are on our way to Grand Haven. This is probably the consumer's power plant that we're about to fly by. I'm going to hit P and get back in control. But you can see this HD actually makes it much more realistic. I'm going to get down to a thousand feet and see if we've got any 3D terrain in this area as well. I have got the audio shut off on my plane. I muted the tab. That way it's easier for me to record everything. The airplane sounds are quite realistic, but when we're watching my movies in class, it's hard to have the airplane sounds and my instructions at the same time. That definitely was the power plant. You could also see the train tracks for all the coal that comes in. All right, friends, so I'm showing you that I'm in the HD version. Let me hit P to pause, and let me show you what I did. All I did was in the options, under controls, obviously we're using the mouse. Simulation, you could change these. Multiplayer, I enabled multiplayer. I like the community, contributed 3D models. I do like the commercial traffic. You can enable the text chat. I've got mine shut off right now. And then under graphics, this is where I enabled the water effect contrails and i enabled hd which was free you could also do the transparent user interface i chose not to another fun thing is you can pick your time of day you can night fly you can also adjust the weather season and you could also really really customize it if you want i'm going to hit save and close but that's how you know how i got to those things i'm going to hit n for navigation and friends this is another one of my favorite things I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna fly somewhere awesome. I'm gonna go visit Alaska and see what it looks like. Notice I can spot it over here and I wanna fly near Anchorage. It's a populated place so now I can right click on it and I'm gonna come in at 3000 feet. It's still paused so I've got time to change my aircraft too. This time I'm gonna mess with the Pitts Special and I want the Airshow one and when I hit P to unpause it, you'll notice the problem with 3,000 feet here is you're almost on top of a mountain, so you might want to come in higher. Press 9 to get my throttle up. This is also a great one for seeing the elevators. Cannot see the ailerons moving that much, but it makes it real clear to see those elevators moving. Once again, you can scroll your wheel back so you can see it from a distance, or you can zoom all the way in. You could even get in the cockpit. Notice here we've got the beautiful scenery of the mountains. And you can just zoom around and get your bearings as a pilot. Alrighty friends, so I hope you enjoyed this quick flight. I've got a little bit better idea of some of the cool features that are available and have more fun with GEOFS 
the amazing flight simulator that you can start playing for free. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Let's see if we can wrap the video up with a barrel roll. There we go. How cool is that? Have fun, friends. Keep flying.